and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr, second place. It's rare. I think it takes the place of your grenade. It does. Let's mess with that at a later time. It does look very rare and interesting. His attack against the governor was re repelled at the last minute, but the defeat didn't stop the Dark Eldar. Their focus shifted to the uh, Clamoris Prime, a huge hive world populated by billions and billions of Imperial citizens. I took command of the local planetary defense forces and will personally lead the counterattack against the Xeno slavers. How is everybody doing today? Please leave a comment about how your day is going. I'm generally interested to know where my audience is coming from. I was looking at analytics and uh, I have like more people in New York and Chicago. Former command center of the planetary defense forces. Not much left to save here. They're not here on the west the coast. Masters of subterfuge and ambush. These inexperienced soldiers had no chance against them. The dispatchers mentioned a newly arrived commissar in charge of reintegrating the troops into the Imperial War Machine. He must be in command now. A logical assumption. I'll ask the tech priest to mark his location on your map. We also have reports of Xenox incursions from Gladius Hive, not too far from here. Yeah, I've got um, viewers all around the world, but I suspect that that comes from the Street Fighter content, not so much my art work. Um, anything like that. Probably just gaming content. I think uh, a lot of people in the UK have watched my shorts. Makes sense my family is, is from the American Kingdom. Is open in the area. That must be the portal the Reavers use to transport their prisoners. That's useful information. And I don't think it's necessarily my family who's watching. But, uh, you know, being half British in the United States, um, I'm kind of just different than a lot of creators, so maybe it's just like certain mannerisms. Inquisitor, Lord Commissar Scarhurst at your command. Isn't it a nice day for our last rally against the Xenos? Aren't you way too pessimistic to keep morale up? Ah, a misunderstanding. This will be their last day. In this forsaken valley, we are going to give those Xenos a good thrashing. What are they doing here exactly? The Xenos are pillaging and taking prisoners from Gladius Hive. Our troops tried to stop one of the slaver convoys, but fell victim to a sudden ambush. 
I'm planning to move against their main forces directly and cut off the head of this filthy operation. I could be of some assistance, Lord Commissar. I have the coordinates to their temporary webway portal. Send out your men to secure the area while I close down the Zeno's escape route. At your command. see much of a point in the pistol weapons. If you guys know this game better than I do, and I'm totally wrong about that, uh, let me know and I'll give them a try, but for the meantime, I think uh, heavy guns. Ah. It's not really a game where you benefit a lot from mobility, you know, it's not armored car. Something like that. Go through this door. Yeah. nothing but a failed attempt to prove your worth. It is only a filthy human. Do you really think this poorly of me? I can sense the spark of burning seer in this chunk of unadorned flesh. You are always underestimating the power of their belief. In any case, 
I will activate the pain catalysts while you are amusing yourself here. It's like one of the you think I come you up can with. challenge me, worthless human? I have destroyed entire civilizations before your kind crawled out into the void. You can forget your empty theatrics. Your wizened master has already left, and I truly don't care. Inquisitor on your own. A part of me is glad. And I have destroyed their portal, although it might have been too late. A homunculus has escaped. I suspect you already know what that is. Yes, I do. One of the ancient flesh sculptors, and he could be connected to the recent complications in Gladius Hive. I'm on my way back. You can brief me on the ship. the treasure chest earlier. That's kind of cool.
that's a good one to have. down there. The Vox channels went insane a few hours ago. Instead of retreating as they are wont to do, the Dark Elder have begun to kill Imperial citizens in Gladius Hive. It's a massacre. That wretched homunculus must be part of his plan. I must find that creature immediately. I've managed to eliminate the Archon leading the Dark Ray Eldar radars, ra raiders, raiders, excuse me. But the bloodshed continues, in fact, there's this intensified a homunculus, an insane Dark Eldar flesh sculpture, sculpture, managed to escape my judgment, and the Xenos have been started a colossal massacre in the Hive City of Gladius. This change of tactics is somehow connected to a mysterious pain catalyst. I must stop them and reveal their heinous secrets. Yep, reveal their heinous. So the, the, this uh, main storyline is kind of going in the direction of the Dark Eldar their doings um, against the Imperial Legion. Um, I don't think that that's tied to the martyr and us finding uh, Klosterheim or, or the ship. If those two narratives did get connected, please let me know how. I, to this point, I think it's separate. Whatever a pain catalyst is, it must be connected to this vile display of cruelty. I need to find that homunculus. This is a pretty cool background. That's interesting. It's like this big skyscraper city. I wonder what happens at the ground level. Intended that people don't live on the ground.
word to Lord Thys. We've run out of time. He needs to accelerate the rate of extraction. Catalyst truly manipulates the life force. The anomaly could mark the location of that machine. Reloading.
screaming into the wall. more efficient than I expected, ape. I wish we had more time. I could craft your pain seed fresh into something more formidable, given your murderous talents. I was formidable enough against your kin so far. This is a cruel world. The weak must perish, especially if they were born amongst the mighty Drukari. That is the truth of my coven, the Koteri of Dissonance. But enough of your education, human. So, it has come to this, human. What a waste of life essence and sweet suffering. But you leave me no choice. I need to release the energies. idea what this unholy contraption could be. Biotelemetry measures point to one plausible explanation. These Xenox devices seem to collect pain, fear, vitality, and negative energies released during battles and other acts of violence. Judging by the picked recording of your skirmish, the machines could also transfer the accumulated energy to the Drakari to revitalize them. That must be the reason why they've begun murdering the entire population of this hive. They're charging their catalysts. Triangulation is complete. I have the coordinates of the remaining pain catalysts. You should return to the ship immediately. Loading. Why would they destroy it?
The planetary Vox chatter paints a disturbing picture of the situation. What are you going to do? All the pain catalysts must be destroyed as soon as possible. But it will take weeks until the Astra Militarum reinforcements arrive. It will be too late by then. I have the solution you need. What is it? Your old acquaintance, the Free Blade Knight called the Crimson Wanderer. Captain Grexus has safely landed on the planet. The pilot, Sir Ambrose Caradoc, is awaiting your orders. The Emperor has blessed us. This changes everything. Put me through to Sir Caradoc and let me guide his war machine through those reavers. gave up on cor corralling slaves, but they are determined to continue this grim harvest using other methods. As it turns out, the pain catalysts are, bi are biomechanical aberration aberrations capable of gathering the essence of pain and suffering. This depravity must be stopped. With the assistance of my captain, I have sent word to you an old friend, Sir Ambrose Karadik. Perhaps the wrath of, the, of an Imperial Knight will give the Drukari some cause for concern. Remember, Knight, that the existence of these pain catalysts is a sin against the Machine God. A mockery of everything the Omnissiah has taught us. The Augur Scanners have successfully detected their location. Destroy them all. A task worthy of my mighty war machine. Onwards! Alright, this is... Uh, the first thing we've used one of these... big ass vehicles.
Captain was no match for the Crimson Wanderer. Careful, these are the Dark Elder, masters of terror and agony. And now they are ready to fight to their last breath. This task isn't complete yet. Fear not! The blaze of the blessed furnaces and the thunder of my holy weaponry will banish these creatures from our world. Sorry about that, everybody.
is complete. My heart is filled with pride. If you don't mind, Inquisitor, I will remain on this planet until the Xeno's threat has been eliminated. The Crimson Wanderer is clearly needed here. But you must know that I will gladly answer your call again at any time in the future. Those missions are pretty cool, but I don't think they give you ex experience points, and I don't think you get any loot. So, you know, it's kind of cool to get this big destructive thing, but uh, it also doesn't pilot very well. You have a message from the Conclave. That was quick. They must have followed this investigation very closely. I am very satisfied with the results of your investigation, Inquisitor. You have been relentless in your pursuit of these Xenos invaders and showed the Drukhari that the worlds of Imperium are not their hunting ground. Your report revealed your dissatisfaction over the number of human casualties. We are all aware that this is an inevitable consequence of the Dark Elder raids. The only defense against them is ruthless retaliation. They are a dying race, Inquisitor. They can't afford any great losses. I must also ask you to let the Ordos Xenos agents access the device you refer to as the Pain Catalyst. I'm sure their scholars will come up with a slightly less disturbing name during their research. Good work, Inquisitor. The Emperor protects. During my investigation, I have learned that the uh, Cordery of Dissonance, the Dark Elder Coven, which serves the Cabal of the Jagged Maze, decided to act swiftly when ebbing the warp surges allowed the Imperial forces to re-enter the subsector. These creatures have been reaching off the pain of the Imperial citizens, but suddenly they sped up the process with various devices called pain catalysts. These machines siphon the collective suffering of, of the massacres in the Imperial cities. I have dealt with the Coven for the time being, but I have information that indicates that the Drukhari, who are still using the webway tunnels stretching beyond the material veil of the subsector, have an important passageway that leads to the rot weighing system, uh, the true source of Dark Eldar threat. Inquisitor, the Caligari Conclave has sent you an urgent message. Inquisitor, I have an assignment for you that might be connected with the previous investigations in the subsector. We have a situation in the Rotwang system, which is one of the systems that have been affected more significantly by long isolation. The Administratum still hasn't been able to re-establish communications with the Rotwang Planetary Governor. They could only reach some mid-ranking prefects who voiced all kinds of excuses. The Imperium cannot tolerate this kind of attitude. What is even more troubling, an envoy of the Melarium Tempestus, led by Lord Commissar Scarherds, has disappeared after visiting the Governor's Palace on the Void Station Dicaster. The Commissar is one of your acquaintances from a prior mission, if I am not mistaken. I want you to travel to Rotwang, interrogate the Governor, 
and locate the Lord Commissar. The Emperor protects. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good evening.